Hello, everyone, and welcome to iReady, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Monday, June 5th, 2017. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. And this camera's like way... Oh, look at that. All right. And except that now it's all fucked up. God damn it. What did I do? I ruined everything. That's what I did. Anyway, um... Please remember, everyone, you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Nathan, how are you doing today? I'm incredibly tired. Did you sleep? Yes. A little bit, maybe. What's it to you? It was vastly less than my normal, but it was worth it. Unbelievable. Definitely worth it. How was your weekend? Uh, I mean, it was pretty good. I, I got to hang out with Kier. That was a lot of fun. Kier's a cool guy. We uh, we got drunk and played um um, fuck, what was it? I don't remember the name of the game, but you you uh, stop a bomb from going off. Uh, one person has to sit in one room. One person has to sit in the other. Keep talking and nobody explodes. That one, yeah. That... It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you explode? No, no, I didn't. I was like the only one who didn't. Well. Yeah, no, I was the only one who didn't. Yes! <laughs> what happens when you explode? Is it just is it real lame looking? It's like, boom. You get a loud explosion sound. It's kind of like a jumpy kind of thing, but yeah, it's kind of lame. I like how I had really good lighting a moment ago, and then the sun went behind a cloud, and now it looks all dark in here. Whoa. Super edgy. Oh, infinite edge. Infinite edge. Yep. Infinite. Is that like some kind of like schlick uh, razor? No, no. Infinite Edge is like a friggin' anime move. Oh, okay. It's like Infinite uh, Edge! That's a fucking sound bite we have to get. What? Well, by we, I mean me, so that I can drop it constantly. Fucking Zawa Rudo. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be like, Windscar! That and literally anything Joseph Joestar says. That's an, an American. It's fucking absolute gold. I I believe you. Son of a bitch! London attack. Oh. There's not actually anything it's submitted by. I didn't hear the ten either. Not That's either. okay. Either way, um, it, it, it didn't actually happen in the last 24 hours, but we're going to talk about it real quick. Anyway, if you did not hear about it, there was a terrorist attack in London. A couple of three individuals drove over the London Bridge, the part where you walk across it. Um, seven people Which were killed. They had one recently on the London Bridge currently, too, huh? What? Didn't they have that guy? Or was it the London Bridge? It might have been something else. It was a it different was... bridge. Oh, okay. Um... Seven people have been killed. Um, 49 have been injured because after they made it across the bridge and crashed, they jumped out of the car and started stabbing people. Mm -hmm. um, police w arrived in the scene within eight minutes and subdued the attackers. Two of them are dead. One is uh, in critical care right now because the cops beat the ever-living bejesus out of him. That's understand As well as other people, actually. I, I was reading things on the BBC website that uh, there is people who... Like, there's a guy who had... Seen someone run in, uh, clearly afraid. He took two crates and walked out. And he saw the guy um, trying to stab a lady, so he ran up and, and like blocked one of the knife swings with a crate, and then smashed the other crate into his head. That's pretty great. That's pretty crate. Dang it! Ah. It's a pun. I hate you. You did. You did. You did the. You did the bad, Nathan. You set it up. I know. I'm encouraging you and to do something I despise. It's all my fault, really. It's all it's all my fault. I won't I won't lie. But either way, um, there's been a lot of like fallout from this because this is the third terror attack that London has had in the last six months, which is more than there should be ever. Yeah. Um, there's also been a lot of politicking going on because the mayor of London came out to say something, and Trump basically said, "You're full of shit," and everyone's like, "Wow, Trump, that's a little insensitive right now." People died. Yep. Yep. He uh, he was like. Uh, the, there was a, a statement released by um, Mayor. Oh God, what it started with an S. Oh, I forget his name. Sadiq, I think it is. I can pull it up real quick. Sadiq Khan, good job. Fucking yeah, the mayor Sadiq. I'm so goddamn. Sorry. All right, hold on. Pause. I'm fucking absolutely surprised. I remember that name. Good job, buddy. Uh, so, anyways, um, Mayor Sadiq Khan. Uh, 
sent out a, a release saying, hey, there's going to be more people around or there's going to be more police around town. But, you know, you shouldn't be alarmed. It just means that we've had a dangerous situation and, you know, we should probably be more careful about things for a second or two. Yeah. And just, just be aware uh, that there's going to be more cops around. Yeah. And uh, Trump's like, that's bullshit. What, what are you fucking doing? Uh-oh. You're not telling these people the truth. Yeah. You lie into these people. Yep. You know, Trump, like, I, I try to, <laughs> to be fair to you as much as I can because I know a lot of people just slander and throw stuff because because they can. He but, fucked up but, this weekend, too. Oh, yeah, he really did. Uh, and that's not that's something else that isn't in, in, in our list today is that he's currently in court over the whole idea behind his travel ban and his attorneys are arguing about it, that it's not a travel ban. And then he goes out on Twitter. He's like, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it what it is. It's a travel ban. And it's like, really? Yeah. You just fucked your entire goddamn case. Yep. Your defense now just went. You literally just shot yourself in the foot. And you're going to fucking blame liberals for not passing the bill. Uh, no, he'll be he'll blame uh, Kathy Griffin. It's her fault. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Nine. ISRO successfully launches GSLV MK3, a cryogenic rocket engine, after 30 years of intense research. This is submitted by a myth to our space. So uh, what that all that stands for is the India Space Research Organization successfully launched a geosynchronous land vehicle, the Mark III. And what this is, it is one of the world's largest rockets. It weighs four tons and carried a satellite into space. And this is a big... Yeah, it's a big major success for India because now it puts them on the board essentially as an actual contender for space. All right, obscure reference. How many Indian elephants does that equal? I I don't know. Oh. The Pokedex in a lot of different generations of of Pokémon will compare uh weight oftentimes to or or just things in general to Indian elephants. Well, in, in which is really weird because there shouldn't be Indian elephants in the Pokémon world. Indian elephants a male weighs approximately 12,000 pounds and a female weighs 6,000 pounds. Oh. So there's some math there that I don't plan on doing. How many goddamn Pokemon weigh more than twelve thousand pounds? Can, oh, dude, you would be what, fucking l- like twenty. There's there's quite a bit that weigh more than twelve thousand. Dude, Pokemon that you wouldn't expect would weigh way more than you than you'd think. Larvitar would break most people's arms for even trying to attempt to lift him. Oh yeah, I know, but even like Rhydon only weighs two hundred and sixty pounds. Right, for some fucking ungodly reason. Whale Lord weighs 877. All right, Larvitar, though. Like, Larvitar's, like, this big. Oh, right? I, no, I understand. I'm He's saying... 158 pounds. I'm still saying that none of that is... It, Whale Lord's the heaviest, and he doesn't even break a 1,000. Dude, I swear there's more weight to it. At least not just according to just what I threw into Google. I'm going to look up Indian elephants referenced in Pokemon. Well, you know what? I'm going to move on with uh, the the show. That makes one of us. You son of a bitch. Indian elephants are mentioned in both Raichu and Ghastly's Fire Red Pokedex entries. That's that's great. Uh, Pokemon Raichu's Pokemon Sun and Moon entries mention Indian elephants once more. Eight. A study has shown that Texas has the highest maternal mortality rate in a developed world. Whoa. Really? Yep. This is submitted by Otark Cade to our news. So, they can't discern the reason why, because that would require money that they don't have, but Texas- Oh boy, I can tell you fucking why. (laughs) Texas has- They don't believe no science now down there. (laughs) Texas has the highest- rate of pregnancy related deaths in the developed world oh god in fact the rate of pregnancy related deaths has doubled between 2010 to 2012 and has continued to go up since then all right bad joke time at least they're not making more texans oh that's a real insensitive joke Hmm. Uh, oh wait, I got it. Oh shit! Oh shit! There you go. There you go. 
And the other, th the, here's the more unfortunate thing though. They're not doing anything about it. Like in order to do anything about it, they would need to allocate money and funds to look into what's going on, why this is such a big problem. But the Texas legislature just closed their session. So they're not discussing anything anymore. So it won't be discussed again until 2019. My sister, oh my god. <laughs> she, Sarah in the chat room says, Texas always does it big. Go big or go home. Including mortality rates. Everything's bigger in Texas. Including mortality rates. Oh god, that's killing it. <laughs> There is a one representative that was particularly concerned and was working on writing a bill um, in order to investigate it because of these maternal pregnancy related deaths. Eleven, so they they discovered that black women were only making up eleven percent of births, but twenty eight percent of deaths. So black girls were not being born, but were dying. And they wanted to find out if there was any comparison there, if someone was at more at risk, or if it had anything to do with income or anything like that. Unfortunately, the, the though... gigantic pressure that is... The, just you, you walk into Texas, you can feel it in the air. It's like gigantic pressure of white privilege pushing down on them. I mean, maybe. that That definitely sounds quite possible. I like how Josh in the chat room is spamming so many emojis, little heart emojis, that they have frozen. Like, the show's still going just fine, but the emojis are frozen. At least on mine, they are. Oh, no. Mine's frozen completely. Oh, good job, Josh. Way to crash the stream. Well, for me, at least. Well, way to fail, Nathan? It could just be, you know the computer but whatever unfortunately though that bill did die because um tea party backed lawmakers uh, protesting a lack of movement of their own issues um used a procedural maneuver to kill any bill that was on the calendar that wasn't supposed to generate debate so if it was just like those moms wow go sit in the corner oh god wow dude what the fuck I don't know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Satan has gripped me. Okay, well, you know, on that, um, I'm just, yeah. Seven. Churches would be more popular if they stopped banging on about God, sir, says <laughs> Sir Simon Jenkins. This is submitted by Combat Johnny to R Not The Onion. Uh, my, my chat is completely frozen now as well. Good job, Josh. Anyway, Sir Simon Jenkins has come out and was speaking um, just out at a, about kind of not necessarily about religion but about the, the way religion is conducted and specifically comparing cathedrals versus like smaller homelier churches because there's lots of people that go to cathedrals and <laughs> from what he can tell and the people he's talked to and discussed it's mostly because people don't get in your face in a cathedral like there's so many people that they don't do the individual treatment they just, you know, okay. welcome everyone in and you're not being watched by anyone or, you know, necessarily being... You can, it's, it's, like, it's like the Las Vegas of, of churches. You can just walk in, do your confession, everything stays in the confessional. Yeah. And so what he's recommending, essentially, is that there isn't a problem with religion. There's not a problem with churches. You need to just stop being so damn hard when it comes to encouraging religion people will naturally find their way to religion if you don't like come here <laughs> right if you're if you're like that's that's what uh got me to go to churches actually i went to a very temperate church that that didn't force uh god down your throat constantly and i enjoyed it i feel like if we had uh like little centers that weren't about church at all like community centers that were more established that people felt like they had to go to once a day every week or not once a day uh one one day out of every week sure. and and like just got in the community and did cool shit then i feel like we just without the god stuff that would be fucking sh sick well and that's like i'm not religious but I, I went to a youth group when i was young and when i was in like middle school to early high school and one of the things that was a big deal about that for me was that they weren't pushy like and they they just genuinely wanted to help you and be there for you 
and it's it was it was good it was nice and like one of the things that sir simon here highlights is how important music is and when i went to ignition that was one of the things they pushed so much is the, a, a solid like 60 75 percent of the entire service was just singing with one another um and it's just it allows people to not be so directly viewed upon and just enjoy what's happening Right, and and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should stop churches because churches are great. They help. They actually help people. I'm just saying that I feel like if we had like a community center, where every you know fucking every Friday you had to you had to go, or you know you'd be viewed down upon in the community. And and in these things, people got together and they did you know bake offs and and crazy stuff. I feel like that happens more in rural areas, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's usually tied to the church. I want I want a community center that's not affiliated with any religion and refuses to be affiliated with religion and I want them to do just as much cool shit that the religion uh, the religious institutes do. Sure. Like I want to go to a community center and do a lock-in and just sit there and play worms all night. Okay. Like worms like worms Armageddon like Yeah, like worms Armageddon. It was one of my favorite memories of church. Okay. I, I have nothing. I, I literally have nothing. Good stuff. Good for you. Good for you. One, Everyone should play Worms nope. at least once in their life. Six. Orlando Workplace Fatalities reported. Oh, this was submitted by They Always Watch the R News. I fucking I was uh, reading about this earlier. Yep, so uh, this gentleman, he walked into his place of employment uh, and told a couple people to leave because he apparently had no beef with them and then shot the rest. Jesus Christ. And it was an it was an angry uh, ex-employee. Yep. Because they fucking sacked his ass. Yep, and so he sacked their asses. How did he kill them? He shot them? That's yeah. not sacking, Michael. I mean you get you still get put into a body bag, that's a sack. I guess body bagging people is a term. Yep. And if you think of a bag as a sack. That just sounds so southern. I grew up in Oklahoma. That doesn't mean you should ever continue anything that you've ever done in Oklahoma. That's offensive to people that I know, sir. I've been very offensive tonight. That's fucking true. Made everyone leave already. Yeah, I mean, fuck Texas, fuck Oklahoma. Five. Chicago man, 98, turns $1,000 in stock into $2 million and donates it all to wildlife. Ooh. This was submitted by Abel Abra, a- Abel Abra to our uplifting news. Yep. So Russ Gremmel, age ninety-eight, he never married, he never had kids. He bought a thousand dollars worth of Walgreens stock decades ago, kept it, and today it's worth two million dollars. He has liquidated it and donated all of the money to the Illinois Abaddon Society, and they have dedicated four hundred acres of wildlife of the nearby wildlife sanctuary to his name. It's fucking crazy. Well, I mean, if you got a bunch of money and you have no purpose for it whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, you're 98. No offense, but you're probably going to be dying soon. Yeah, you got 10 years left, Max. <laughs> Max. Hey, modern ten, medicine, buddy. 10 is ten is kind of... Generous? Yeah, very generous. Well, I mean, I, I can... I'm, a, I'm a pretty generous person, Nathan. That makes one of us. Yeah, you greedy fuck. Actually, that's not true. I'm pretty generous when I do have stuff. Yeah, no, I totally understand. It's hard to I be generous. I give people everything broke. that I can. Like, if I'll give you the shirt off my back, I'll give you uh, the fucking the extra taco I had. I'll give you STDs. I'll give you nachos, man. You just fucking name it. I got you. He says, as Josh has a shirt that says this used to belong to Nathan Wood. He gave Adam his burger yesterday. I, I... no, he didn't. He didn't want it, so I ended up wrapping it up. Oh, okay. Um... I tried though. I very tried. All right. Really tried English. Thank you. Very Actually. tried. Really tried. Both work. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know about the STD part. What was the last thing you said? I didn't say STDs. Yeah, you did. I don't even remember what the last thing I said was. <laughs> but you don't remember STDs either. I. I have never had an STD in my life. That doesn't mean you're not giving them to people. I run around with needles and just jabbing people <laughs> with STDs. Stab! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
if you count cold sores as an std then technically i do have std my other my other question now is is like std stands for sexually transmitted disease if you give it to somebody by like injecting them it's not technically an std anymore i don't know it's still penetration okay so what if it like i don't i don't know there's ways around that you have to get them sexually excited before you give them the STD shot. Ah, uh, that's a really weird kink. Oh, man, I'm about to tell you a very interesting story. Oh, does it involve uh, Four. this? No, no, it's not. It, really quickly, it's about STDs. God damn it. Go, go ahead. Um, of one, of, one, of the pre one of my ancestors um, was alive during a, a smallpox outbreak. And he had gotten smallpox, survived smallpox, and lived in a shed because I wanted to quarantine him away from everybody. But that didn't stop him from trying to turn smallpox into an STD. Why? I don't know. That is one of the stories that I always remember hearing growing up was, yeah, your uncle tried to turn smallpox into an STD. That, like a great uncle or something. That sounds like one of like the failed like I don't I don't even know. That sounds like a really bad plan for the Joker or something. Like I don't even like. I'm gonna turn smallpox into an STD. Uh, he, you can he, only get it from this small dick. He, he he plants it in Scarecrow's mind somehow, and Scarecrow's like, oh well, here I go fucking people. Oh man, that's all right. He's not even the coolest one of my uh, relatives. That's the guy who blew up a tiger in Vietnam. Is that also the dude who lives in Panama? Yeah, he's the reason why I have my middle name. That's fair. He was an ex-CIA agent and a mercenary. The world's first commercial carbon capture plant is now online in Switzerland. This was submitted by Specs to our Futurology. So, basically what it is, is it's another way of trying to fight uh, climate change and all that good, bad shit. In which they've developed a way to basically do advanced photosynth photosynthesis. Fo photosynthesis. 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 Shit, I don't even know where the clacker is. Fithesis. Don't worry about it. Anyway, it's a thousand times faster and more effective than photosynthesis. A thousand times? Yep. And mm. what it does is they basically just pull carbon dioxide out of the air. And then they can either bury it underground or they can turn it into other products or they can just simply sell it. They can can it, make CO2 uh, canisters. Yep. That means we could all have more paintball. Yep. Holy shit, this is fucking genius. So basically, and literally the way that it works is it has these special spongy filters that they literally just fan air through and it goes, oh, I like that CO2. And then they collect it up and then they friggin' heat that up super hot so that the CO2 can pour out. And then they go, cool, I got a bunch of CO2. They liquidize the CO2 first? Uh, they don't- it say- I don't think- I don't think it says liquidizes it. Then how the fuck do you pour CO2 out of I something? I don't know, okay? It says they heat it up to 100 degrees Celsius, and then the pure CO2 is released in a form that can be buried underground. I don't know what the hell that means, alright? Science is weird and shit. About to be penetrating and releasing that CO2 into Mother Earth, nah, I mean. That- that's really dangerous. Like, not even just like for your health, but like puncturing a CO2 canister. That, that. No, no, you're you're penetrating the earth w with the CO2. Nathan, I understand that like it's called like Mother Earth and Gaia and stuff like that, but it's it, hey, she don't want none either. It's it's based on your pronunciation. It might be Gaia. Gaia. Well, yeah. in that case, then she really doesn't want any. There's a there's a magic card called uh, Gaia's blessing. Y yeah. Um, everyone at the shop calls it gay ass blessing. Okay. Shit's awesome. Three. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates cut diplomatic ties with Qatar, accusing it of creating instability in the region. I'm proud of you for pronouncing all those names. Thank you. This is submitted by Miami Power to Our World News. So Qatar is being accused of basically funding ISIS and Al-Qaeda and all other terrorist groups that are in the Middle East. and Hamas, right? Yeah, the Islamic State. And Hezbollah. Basically, there's no actual evidence that's, that actually says, yeah, they're funding them. But all of these countries are like, I think it's you. And part of me feels like they're go literally just putting their finger to the nose like, wasn't us, wasn't us. Oh, it must be you. Qatar is like, what, oh, shit. What the no, fuck? I got it up there. I was just the last one. Fuck you guys. Yeah, exactly. 100%. But otherwise, though, uh, yeah, they're all... 
shit's already been mixed up in the Middle East, and then, bam, even more stuff's mixed up in the Middle East, because now that not only were they fighting against terrorists, now they don't like each other. They no, never I, liked I, each other. I was other. reading that they, that, um, they had decided to pull all of their ambassadors out of those countries just beforehand because they received intelligence of a conspiracy going on between all of them. Yep, and also any citizens that are in those countries have two weeks to... If you are from Qatar, you have two weeks to get the fuck out. If you are in Qatar and you're not supposed to... Be, and you're not from Qatar, you have two weeks to get the fuck out, and then you're not allowed to go there. God damn, that's like some straight espionage shit going on, you know? Yeah. Except it's all Middle Eastern espionage. Yeah. So it's not like shaking martinis and stuff you know it's funny because it makes my brain think of um the, the history of the world i guess and in that video you see just how much fighting and breakage and like form and reform and collapse has happened in the middle east and it just never stops yeah that's a constant like war zone going on it still is probably will be for quite some time mm-hmm Anywho, let's move back into American politics, shall we? Two. Support. Do, I mean, do, we, do, do we have to? Nah, mm -hmm. Support for Donald Trump's impeachment is now higher than his approval rating. It's not surprising. This is submitted by Inoculate to our politics. Yeah, well, I mean, this weekend, this weekend didn't do him any favors. Because he was sitting at about 42% approval rating, then this weekend happened, and it dropped him down to 36% approval rating. Because everyone's like, Trump, what the hell are you talking about? And, um, and, yeah, and 43%. It's a travel ban. Yeah, God, dude, just stop Fuck talking. you, Mayor Sadiq, you can Sadiq these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Suck on my Sadiq. So, Trump's approval rating is currently at 36%. His impeach- I'm sorry. Michael's over here like Kanye not. Go ahead. You got another one? No, that's it. I'm good. Go um, ahead. Okay. Um, or is Just the, kidding, bitch! No, I'm kidding. The percent of the nation, according to the polls at least, that would like to see him impeached is currently sitting at 43%. Jesus. So, people want him out of office, although he's not technically done anything wrong yet, but I yeah, mean... With, okay, so not nothing that's been proven yet. That's That's true as well. I mean, give him some more time to be dumb, and we'll see what happens. Apparently, grabbing him by the pussy is not wrong, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, saying it and doing it are two different things. Right, whatever happened to that case that was supposed to be held against him? I don't know. I, I bet they fucking got paid off. Maybe. Either what? that or it's in, like, limbo hell. Pro oh, that, that, that's not hard to accomplish with court. Jeremy Corbyn calls for Theresa May to resign as Prime Minister for presiding over police cuts while Home, sec while home Secretary. Blah, 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 blah. I can't do the clicker. Uh, this was submitted by DIY2 uh, TU to our politics. Fuck. D2. You need the clicker too, apparently. I don't know what the fucking. I don't know how to pronounce shit, dude. That's fine. Um. I, it's not fair, all right? I'm trying to say names, and you're over here saying actual words and fucking up. Most of them are normally names. Uh, yeah. What are you talking about? Shut up, son. Uh, no. Let's go back to Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates. I got those all right. Yeah, but all right, like, look at those words. Those are pretty easy. You already know what Saudi Arabia and Egypt is, right? Yeah. You could have totally mispronounced Bahrain. I don't know. I don't remember you saying it. And United United Arab Emirates is a very easy thing to say. Yeah, even though you English. stuttered over it? Well, that's not fair. I'm, I'm like, running off of a single hour of sleep. Whose fault is that? Yeah. Partially yours. No. Oh, no, it's not. You yeah, were home at 11.15. Right, and I had to do a lot of laundry before then, so I had clothes for work. I don't... No. Mm -mm. No, you don't get that excuse either. Yeah. Because I had to take Adam home, and then came home and, like, took a shower and stuff, so... That's nice. And we're like, not talking about your night. And it, it takes all of 45 minutes to an hour to run the washer. As soon as the washer's done, you throw them in the dryer and go to sleep. There's a very riveting thing that I was doing, aside from waiting for Playing Overwatch? 
No, I had to. I was not playing Overwatch. If you look at my on, online history for Blizzard, you would see that I was not online last night. Watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Adventure. No, I was not. Actually, I should have been. P playing Magikarp Jump. That's actually one of the things. God damn it, Nathan. All right, back on topic. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you anymore because fuck you. People want Teresa May out of office. They've wanted her out of office for a whole bunch of re reasons. Part of it is because she was a proprietor for Brexit, which is still going on. But she did call for a snap election, which is being held this Thursday, June 8th. We will be sure to give you the results of that because I'm sure it'll be plastered everywhere. But people are blaming her for the recent London attacks that we talked about at the beginning of the show. As Home Secretary, she oversaw the cut of 20,000 police officers what, between 2010 to 2016. And they believe, which can't be proven in any way, but they believe that if they still would have had the full police force, that those attacks wouldn't have occurred. Oh. So that's kind of important. Yeah. And, and um... Like, I understand what you're saying is, like, if we had more police, we'd have better security in which maybe this would have been stopped or at least stopped sooner. But at the same time, like, people are going to do bad shit even if there's good guys around. Like, they just go for the good guys first. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't... Either I mean, way, though... We would just have more... We would just have more foot people traveling around well, not necessarily more people to oh, okay i guess those people could be assigned to do tasks well and in this case they're calling for her to resign i mean it might not matter because she has to get reelected in three days so if she doesn't get reelected, then there's no need for her to resign because she's done and out no it, it's the principle michael i i understand she has to have that tarnish on her for the rest of existence she's already pretty damn tarnished yeah like I mean, yeah, I if, if that's what we're going on, like that's not a hard, that's not a hard sell there. May I ask why, if I may? I'm listening. No, I ask why. You're supposed to answer. Why what? Why why is she so tarnished? Oh, that's what we were just talking about. Well, there's evidence that she was selling weapons to the Saudi Arabians. Um, she's had a, her role in funding, arming, and training the terrorists in Syria over the past six years. Um, she also helped topple Gaddafi and turn Libya into a terrorist hub. This is what other people are saying. I don't actually G know. Gaddafi. Sure. What I say? Gaddafi. Oh, well, look at that dyslexia going on. Um, She's also drastically hurt the British economy because she was a huge advocate for Brexit. The British pound is the weakest it's ever been in history. Small, small businesses are going bankrupt all over the place. Now, the thing is, people are just giving all of these attributes to her. I'm not sure how much of it is actually true. I mean, it's like people would blame, like whoever's in charge is the per person that people blame, but it's not always necessarily their fault. Um, so a lot of people are shoving all of these things onto her of why she needs to GTFO. Sure, they need some kind of scapegoat. I guess Makes they them... can't keep blaming. They can't keep blaming God when more than half of their people don't believe in him. Yeah, wait, not that one. That one. So Nathan, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. What'd you care about in the last seventy-two hours? Um, I it was drinking and hanging out with Kier. Okay. And the new episode of My Hero Macadamia Nuts. My Hero Macadamia Nuts. Yes. Excuse you? It's the name. Is it a parody? No. It's just what I call it. Oh, okay. Was it good? Oh my fucking god, yes it was. It was started off as a fight, it ended as a fight, and there's very few bits in the middle where it was exposition. It was mostly fight the entire time. Cool. And it was good fight. And the ending was so goddamn great. One of them should have died, but they didn't. But holy shit, it was beautiful. Cool. I still haven't watched any of it. Dude, I know because you keep wanting to disappoint me for some reason. I, it's what I'm good at. I, I mean, a lot of people are good at it. It's not really saying much. You shouldn't really be proud of it. Well, I'm, I'm disappointed just, in I'm most just, people. I'm just returning the, the favor to you since you're constantly disappointing me. Well, that's not saying much. I disappoint everyone. I'm a disappointment. 
<laughs> I like the face. All right. Anyway, <laughs> thing I care about in the last 72 hours is I saw Wonder Woman on Saturday. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It was. It's got like a 95 on Rotten Tomatoes or some shit. Yeah, and it deserves it. That movie's amazing. It's I, like it's it's uh, so far received one of the strongest um, premieres. And the, the second most watched movie right behind it is the Captain Underpants movie. Yep, and it, Captain Underpants brought in a whopping $23 million to Wonder Woman's $230 million. Mm -hmm. uh, Wonder Woman I mean, to be fair, Wonder Woman had nothing to contend with because I don't think Captain Underpants, though being a movie that I would definitely watch because I, I read the shit out of those books, it's not something that I would say is um, an A-list movie. That's fair. But Wonder Woman was amazing. It deserves all of the uh, praise that it's getting. Um, and I hope that they do well by the next one since Wonder Woman 2 has already been greenlit. And I'm excited for it because that movie was wonderful. Wonderful? Ah, Jesus. It's a pun. I didn't even mean to do it. Oh, God. All right. I'm done. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm you want to know who I, who I want to see a fight? Right? Who? Between the actress Gal Gadot. And the actress, um, Gal Gadot, L whatever, Lucy Lawless. Who's that? She played Xena. Oh, okay, sure. Except, isn't she significantly older now? Yeah, but like in her prime. I want to see Xena versus uh, Wonder Woman fight, but Wonder Woman definitely win because Wonder Woman's broken compared to Xena. Well, Wonder Woman's a god, so right. So like, I want to see them on even on an even playing field. Xena's not a god though. No, but she's dealt with gods. She had that crossover with Hercules. Okay, that's fair. All right, everybody. We're going to get out of here. Uh, just a heads up, tomorrow's show might be a little bit out of the norm, a little bit weird. We normally do weird stuff uh, as a way to celebrate hitting a milestone. Tomorrow's episode for Tuesday, June 6th, is going to be our 300th episode. Haven't finalized what we're doing yet because, uh, well, we suck and also because ideas are hard sometimes. Otherwise, we'll figure it out, though. Because we're both disappointments. Damn it, Nathan. Don't tell people our secrets. Uh -huh. It's not a secret, dude. You, it's not to you. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure everyone knew you were a disappointment. Shh. So tomorrow is episode 300. We'll be doing something with that. Otherwise, though, um, please be sure to follow us on all forms of social media: Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of those are at iReditCast. If you'd leave us a five star review on iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play, where you're ever listening to it at, we'd greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, call and leave us a voicemail. Let us know what you thought, 508-738-2278. Or you can leave us an email by in our inbox, which is feedback.irata at gmail.com. And if you'd like to support us financially, it is patreon.com slash daily internet. And everybody, that is your 299th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. And please remember, everybody. Don't get the Oh, it took a second. <laughs> That's because I missed the button because I suck. Bastard. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.